I have come to find out that a woman named Leslyn Lewis, who is a Toronto-based lawyer, is gathering signatures to submit her application to run for the Conservative Party leadership. Now, even though I've been suspended from Twitter eight times now, I still managed to uh, log in through my newest account, which is at 1GW09. Because I wanted to read some of her thoughts and ideas, and oh my god, what a breath of fresh air. Go figure. A contender for the CPC leadership who actually believes in Canadian values. What a concept. Now, she seems to be a strong, assertive, and accomplished woman who with no doubt is going to bring massive scale change to the Conservative Party should she win and hopefully rid it of the current bad actors that are in it who do not have Canada's best interest at heart. Many of you have been watching as the Conservative Party of Canada continues to spiral down this death path that it's on of identity politics as it morphs into a cookie cutter copy of the far left liberal party which is infested with Islamists. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you, Council General, for you know having this gathering today. Um, while we celebrate, you know, Independence Day, Jashne Azadi, we cannot forget about Kashmir. Our forefather, founding father, Qaidi Azam, tried very hard. We all, we all know how hard he tried to make everything work, but when he realized that there was no, there was very little room and respect for the Muslims in India, and, you know, Pakistan was formed. So we celebrate Jashne Azadi. But we have to salute the resilience of the people of Kashmir, of what they have gone through and what they're going through. And all of us must raise our voices in a very peaceful, dignified manner. And we must remind the world of what's happening in Kashmir. I, I find that there's been a, almost, almost like a, a silence from the world leadership. And I wonder why, once again, when it's Muslims who are at the forefront of receiving and they're, you know, the, the violence, the, the curb on their freedoms, why there's a silence. I remain strong still in my support for Maxime Bernier, and I am still of the mindset that the PPC platform holds vital elements in saving Canada from the many dangers that the political establishment has placed us in. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that I should remain silent should I see an equally strong voice in another party, even if it is the CPC? For those of you who are Conservative Party members, I'm going to be linking the signature form for Mrs. Lewis in the description, so please make sure to go check it out. She only requires a couple of hundred more signatures to be allowed to enter the race. And even if you're not a Conservative Party member, you can still endorse her right to run as long as you become a member by February 5th, I believe. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to watch an accomplished, eloquent, admirable, and yes, a black woman to wipe the floor with Prime Minister Blackface? So please, Help her at least get the opportunity to speak to you all during the leadership campaign tour so that you can decide for yourselves.